It is December 2024 and the Ender 5 Max showed up at Form Next last month in Germany. I just happened to get access to one here at the office. So I'm going to go over it and show you a few things, including that bright light on the front. Let's get into it. When I first saw this feature, I wasn't sure about it. I just didn't know, but it makes perfect sense. I love this light now because if you have more than one printer like that at a print farm and orange means they're ready to go and green means it's printing, you can see at a glance quickly which printer you need to go and focus on. I can, I can walk by all these green lights and get to that orange one to make sure it's green now. I like the idea. I think it's a, such a simple idea, but such a good one. Okay, Ender 5 Max. Let me tell you everything I know about it so far. And by all means, ask me some questions. 400 by 400 by 400, that's the thing you want to know. Huge build size. These are the only two ports I can find on it. Two USB ports on the side of the screen there. I can't find a LAN port. I can't find any other ports. I took the cover off of this print head. I didn't get it on camera. I had it on hyperlapse like an idiot. So I didn't show it to you, but linear rail, you can see that. The print head is basically the K1, K1 series print head, I think, as far as I can tell, with linear rail and print, uh, filament runout sensor there. These, these little tabs on the side, I think indicate the fact that there must be panels on the sides. It just, this one doesn't have it. It's here at the head office and of course filaments hanging on the side now this is something i noticed i had to do a quick double check on this look at this four four lead screws and four vertical rods like there is eight points of contact on that z-axis it's got to go up a long way and it could be a heavy print i guess because of the size of that per build plate Power cable's there, power button is here. All of the electronics are right there in that middle case underneath the center of the build plate. Yeah, they were so nice to me. They let me turn it on so I could show you the light changing color. The build plate takes quite a long time to get up there, 400 millimeters. Now the build plate has got a 1000 watt heater in it. So it can, it can heat up to 80 degrees in 200 seconds. Uh, maximum temperature for the build plate is 100 degrees. So you can still print all your filaments, your ABS, PTG, carbon fibers, all those filaments. Here you see the build plate coming up and you'll be able to see that little case underneath where all of the electronics are. And even the, the motors underneath there too. Uh, Core XY. I, I really like it. I haven't used an Ender 5 before. I've had emails from customers who ask me questions about their Ender 5s and I just don't know anything about them. I'm excited for the Ender 5 Max to be my first one. Of course, it's got auto bed leveling. Of course, it's got auto Z offset. Uh, this, is a, this is, in my opinion, going to be a good printer for a print farm that needs big build size and has all of these nice luxuries like that light and the filament runout sensor, all of these things, so auto leveling. It is a cast aluminum frame. The auto bed leveling takes it in 36 different positions on the bed. Um, the extruder has dual tempered gears. So they say 500 hours of durability tests on the extruders, on the extruder gears, which is nice. Oh, that build plate is epoxy, epoxy coated build plate. So build temperature can be much lower. Here's another good thing for a print farm. If you're looking to save a little money on heating up your build plate, PLA can print on this, adhere to this build plate, 38 to 40 degrees temp, uh, build plate temperature. Whereas normally it's 60 degrees for PLA. So it's saving you 20 degrees heating up your build plate. I think that's a really great idea too. I've got an epoxy coated build plate for my K1 and I've been printing uh, PLA at about 35, 35 to 40 degrees. Yeah, I love it and it adheres good. So I'm so excited to see it 
come out right away for the under five max. 400 by 400 by 400. It is huge. It's huge, but it doesn't look like it's going to be that heavy. I, I did carry it around with another guy. I mean, it's too big to carry just for the size of it, but it's not that heavy. If you have questions about it, ask me. Uh, send me a comment and I will try to get some answers for you as we learn more about this Ender 5 Max. This is just a sneak peek at behind the scenes. Thanks a lot for coming.